The three ways to look at the ocean. The force of the ocean is a force you will never win, but at best, learn how to navigate. You can stand at the shore, staring into the horizon, as the waves come in from sea, crashing in. The floor slopes from deep to shallow, the crests of its troughs, how the moon affects the tide, and understand the whole, how to make it work for you, and not against you. Or, you can turn again. Now you're back. of the ocean is a force you shall never win, but at best, learn how to navigate.
Hello, well, beautiful, beautiful performance by Bora Yoon, a world premiere. We believe that she was performing from Hawaii. We will find out shortly because Bora will be joining us. And here we are with Bora. I think we've just reconnected to the wires. Bora, what an amazing performance. So beautiful. Um, you can hear me, right? Yes, I can. And I can hear you. Yes, okay. Yay, we're all <laughs> connected. What a, what a beautiful, fabulous piece. And, um, you know, it's so interesting also that as a performer, you get to stage. I mean, you are always theatrical and staging yourself in so many fascinating ways, but the lights are so gorgeous and just how you've set everything up. Um, I just want to say that, but I also was just curious. Um, I know your music is often immersive and soothing in, in really magical ways. Um, is there something, you know, I hear you saying ocean uh, about your location or also about this time period um, that inspired that inspired this new piece? Yeah, well, with, you know, the pandemic, there's that, you know, we're, there's that phrase people have been saying about we're all in the same storm but in different boats. Um, and I feel like this is just the metaphor of the ocean is something that I think I've always likened with life and just this kind of philosophy of like the way you look at the ocean, like you could look at it front ways and see it always as something that's confronting you, that's always got something at coming at you. Or you can educate yourself and kind of learn how the landscape goes and how to how to navigate it the best you can. Or in the best case scenario, like turn your back to it and be supported by the waves and just be part of it. And um, then at that point, you're not actually working against anything, you're working with all of, you know, with what's at hand. And so, um, yeah, this time period really just kind of brought to light a lot of that, just that metaphor of like, this, it's something you can, you're not going to be able to control or win or anything. It's a matter of like how to bend with it and how to move with it. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so it really just, it seemed apt for for the moment right now of just how to, um, yeah, just the three different ways you can turn your body to either be supported by what's happening around you. Because um, I think after this time, performance and theater and everything is going to be really changed. And, um, you know, to the post-pandemic life is going to be very different. And I, I'm excited that artists are, and that Bang is, is holding these types of forums, keeping it alive and um, watching these uh, performance uh, mediums evolve over time. So um, I'm grateful yeah. for the opportunity to be a part of it. <laughs> well, well, it's fabulous. You know, it's amazing. As you were talking, I had this flip back as to when I was a kid. And I remember going in the ocean and my parents would say, don't, if, if you feel the tide pull, hmm. don't fight it. Because if you, if you fight the tide, if it's a really strong tide, like a dangerous tide, you can't fight it, you'll, you'll hurt yourself. You have to kind of relax. And so as you're saying this, I'm thinking, there's such a physical <laughs> relationship to how you're thinking about it and how the tide, how the tides actually work, the, the, it's the strength of that. Uh, anyway, it, it just as you were saying that, I remember, don't fight the tide. So when you're saying become a part of it is very, uh, I mean, Michael's from Florida, he probably has more ocean memories than I do from Pennsylvania, but um, yeah, very, very powerful. I grew up on the beach also, and I just remember having sand in my cheese sandwiches. <laughs> um, maybe there's like inner exfoliation somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's really beautiful, to me, the, I, I really like this idea that we're going to be changed by this, and, and we don't necessarily know how we're going to be changed. You know, yeah. I mean, either it's going to be a giant rush back to trying to people to, to make believe that we can have what we used to have, or it's going to be people who are afraid of going back to the way we were, or people who are going to figure out how to take advantage of this to um, to make it so that we we realize that um, that something else has to happen in order for us to um, live a life as musicians. Yeah. I'm definitely not ready for post-pandemic life. You know, I feel <laughs> a lot more comfortable socializing on Zoom. I don't have to go to any parties. I don't have to interact with anyone personally. You know, I don't have to worry about how I'm dressed. Um, and, you know, uh, I'm just going to stay this way after the <laughs> pandemic's over, so. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> but I, <laughs> yeah, it's a creation destruction moment, but it's, ex it, you know, I think artists have lived this way for a really long time. And so, um, yeah, it's just kind of trying to meet it with curiosity instead of dread. Um, 
and just be more like, okay, what what has been working that will continue to serve and what hasn't? And, you know, it's kind of that, like, what's going to fall away will fall away and what remains will be the thing that helps make uh, what tomorrow's arts are going to look like happen. So uh, thank you guys for being on the forefront of that. And, uh, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thanks for joining us.